Is this nigga flop too little? Flops too little. Boy, these truck drivers, boy. They be out here any kind of way. I think it flops too little. <laughs> I'll go down this little road. Yeah. It's a way back on. Yeah. All right, all right. Yeah. I don't know where to go. Continue on E-Course Road for three miles. Turn right to stay on E-Course Service Road. Roadblock. Look down there. All day long since I've been driving. It just keep being something. It's like a bad accident down there. There's police all over the highway. I pulled over here to this flying J. About to get some fuel. Hopefully that's cleared up by the time I get done. Cause right now, shoes. Just made it back from uh, Van Buren, Michigan. It's the end of my shift. But would y'all believe me if I told y'all I just seen some zebras on the side of the road? Would y'all believe me if I just told you this? Because a lot of people wouldn't believe me. Be like, you ain't seen no damn zebras on the side of the road. And I'd be like, yes, I did. A lot of people would say some shit like, man, you got to show me. You gotta show me. I don't need to plug the truck up. I'm gonna plug it up anyway. A lot of guys would be like, man, you gotta show me. I recorded it. It ain't a good video. But hell, I did record it. And then I took a screenshot of the recording so you can see the animals. You can see the zebras and you can see the horses and wherever else is out there. Now, it ain't super clear, and the reason why it ain't super clear is because I had my phone on the dash. I recorded it with my phone. In the truck, I got a dash cam that the company looks at. I can't hold my phone in the hand like this because that camera go off. It recognizes phones in your hand, and I would have got in trouble. So. I kind of like pushed the camera phone over to the side so y'all can see a little bit. And then I just took a screenshot of the video and I'm going to post it so y'all can see it. But it was an accident or something. Uh, I don't know what happened, but the trailer was on fire and it looked like they took all the animals out the trailer. And sure enough, they had some damn zebras. That's just some shit you don't even see every day. When I saw them zebras, I kind of freaked out. Because horses is one thing. You see horses everywhere. But you just don't see no zebras. You don't just don't see no damn zebras. Nah, nah, nah. Nah. You just can't ride down the street and just look over and see zebras just sitting right there. This ain't, this ain't that. You gotta go like to a zoo or somewhere like that to where zebras is at. They had a whole zoo on the side of the road. I don't know if they was part of some kind of circus or moving around animals from zoo to zoo or wherever they was going to but why the hell did y'all have some damn zebras out there and there was some other stuff out there i really couldn't tell i was just so shocked when i looked over there i was like damn they look like a big horse that's when i'm thinking in my head like damn they look like a big horse and i looked over and saw that zebra i said oh they got a motherfucking zoo out there 
zebras and all kind of shit. It was crazy, man. Huh? Look for yourself. There it is, y'all. There it is. Breaking news from overnight in Grant County. Fire crews in northern Indiana working to put out a fire along I-69. This is near State Road 18. Yeah, this is a wild story. Take a look at your screen. This is video from one of our NDOT cameras from around 2 a.m. this morning. On the left side of your screen, you can see a semi truck that's on fire. Now, police tell us that semi was hauling animals, including camels and zebras. And take a look at some of these pictures and video we've received from the Grant County Sheriff's Office in Marion. You can see those zebras and camels off to the side of the interstate. All of the animals involved have been safely rescued. That's great news. None of them are hurt. Yeah, certainly great news. And the fire has closed down northbound lanes of I-69 near Marion. Police are now diverting northbound traffic there onto State Road 22 in Grant County. So keep that in mind as you head out on your morning commute. Of course, we will update you with more information on this story as soon as we get it right here on 13 Sunrise, as well as our website at WTHR.com and the 13 News app. Thought she'd pull up some more.